Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by... Hi, I'm J.R. Skok. I am Science Advisor for the company Astro Reality. So tell me a little bit about what your job is and how you advise Astro Reality. So Astro Reality is making these, uh, the, some of the best models of the solar system that we ever made and then enabling them with augmented reality to kind of tell the story of our universe, our own planet, through a mix of digital and real tactile experiences that you can hold in your hand. And so my job as science advisor is to find all the data that we want to put into these uh, models and kind of tell the story of our universe in a way that everyone can experience. And how, how do you do that? What is the way of telling the story of our universe? So it's a, it's a mix of like real life experiences, making these models, um, you know, the topography and the texture and the colors as accurately as like NASA has ever observed, and then finding the right data sets, the ones that kind of tell us the best stories through topography, through volcanoes, through uh, the geology and history of each and every planet, and then putting them in a way that people can access and understand how that connects to the large story of not only how the planet was formed, but how like humans are exploring it. Because you know each of these planets is a, is a world to itself, but we only know it because of the human experience of how our missions and our astronauts have gone there and uh, studied it and figured out the story of what makes these planets special. Uh, tell me a little bit about your role and what you do and what type of knowledge you're you're bringing in. Like, can you give me a few examples of experiences that you've personally put in there? So I'm um, as a science advisor, I'm a Mars geologist with like my background. So I study the evolution of Mars volcanology, developing missions of NASA to go look for life and ancient hot springs deposits. And so now we're working, um, I, I, I try to find the best NASA data. Uh, for example, we're coming out with a new Mars Pro. It's a large model of the Mars, the best one I've ever seen, 3D printed uh, color. And we're kind of telling the story of the scientists. Um, so understanding where scientists around the world, um, you know, Mars has been an international collaboration. You know, a lot of NASA scientists in America, but Canadians, Europeans, Chinese scientists have really helped us understand how this planet works. So we're trying to tell the stories of not only the places on Mars, but the human journey of how we got there how we took spacecraft data and analyzed different parts, built up a story, how it went from being kind of a, a dead, rusty planet to a place that we now had, uh, knew had rivers and lakes, um, had uh, high, hot springs, all these things that both resemble places that we know on Earth um, and how we discovered them on Mars. It's a whole journey of the last 50 years of exploring this red planet and turning it into a very rich world that uh, hopefully someday might be a future home for people themselves. So I have my favorite places where I've spent my career studying. So uh, writing up these places, how I've studied them, how my colleagues have studied their favorite places, how we've gone traveling the world to find the most um, Mars-like places. Uh, I study hot springs on Mars and have spent months in Iceland and Yellowstone and Chile going to some of the most remote hot springs on Earth, uh, learning how they work here and applying that data to Mars. So that way when we're building these rovers, building the missions to search for life on Mars, we know exactly what these features look like and can take the human story of exploration and take it to another planet. So because there's so much new information coming out all the time and it's always in the news, I'm wondering, is this information that you have being updated all the time with regards to the actual model. So when you, you take your tablet or your phone, something new happens, will that be updated on the app itself? Yeah. Uh, that's our uh, goal. We want to make it so it's, you know, Mars is a, it's a living story as far as the human exploration of it. Uh, new missions are going all the time. We just had the InSight mission. And so we're working hard to get all the uh, data from that um, put into all of our apps, into our notebook experiences, so to share what the mission looks like, where it's exploring. Um, and then as the data is being processed and telling stories of it, we're going to put those new layers into um, our app and that experience. So that way, you know, people who have the app, have the, the globes, they get to join the journey as it's happening. As SpaceX starts sending more missions, as China, as all these private companies and nations keep exploring Mars, we want to have these uh, stories being told in real time. And that's kind of my job as science advisor to take sometimes the very technical, complex processes of these missions and kind of use the um, interactive augmented reality technology to tell these stories in ways that everyone can understand. As a scientist, having this form or I guess this way of presenting information in layman terms for the public, is this in a way a bit more groundbreaking in, for, in, in forms of educating the masses about like, sp like space exploration? Yeah, I really love it. Like, for most scientists, the way they communicate to the public is through like lectures to museums or uh, occasionally public articles in like astronomy magazine, more general. Um, and this is just a whole new type of technologies. By putting the planets in people's hands, you know, it goes from being, Mars is no longer some abstract idea, but it's something you can hold in your hand, you can feel these places. Even the Earth, like we all live on the Earth, we all love it, but we're sometimes so focused on our city or our country, we forget that it's a whole interactive global system. 
even taking those global data sets, um, allowing people to feel that is just a really powerful thing. And augmented reality is such a, a new uh, technology and I, uh, you know, the content for it is still very much developing. So being on like, the front lines of developing that technology or using the content that we have and using this technology to reach people in a new way is just a really exciting way to diversify how we outreach to the public. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Head over to VRFocus.com if you want to find out more about VR or AR in this case, and I will see you in the next video.